Welcome to Watch of the Week here on Case Back Watches. This is a series of brief reviews and it's not a commercial. You will hear my free opinion, you will hear my unfiltered observations about a certain timepiece. And our topic in this week is... Okay, here we are with our watch, Le Forbain, or Forban, I don't know how to pronounce this, to be frank. And this was a French brand which produced in the 60s and 70s watches for the French Army and Coast Guard. And those were quality timepieces with French or Swiss movements, very robust, very tough. And now an apparently young crew has revived the brand and a few weeks ago they presented La Malouine. And this is this diver here you can see. And La Malouin you can translate to a buccaneer from Saint Malo, which is a city in, in France. And so let's go over the basics here. We're looking at a case diameter including bezel, 39 millimeters, so a rather smaller watch for a diver. The length is 45 millimeters, case thickness is 13. Case is completely steel except the bezel. Here we have an unidirectional aluminium bezel with 120 clicks and the crystal is domed sapphire. Screw down crown and this comes on a silicone tropic strap, luck with this 20. And inside ticks the Miyota 8215 automatic movement. And it retails at 490 euros, which is roughly 500 US dollars. But obviously if you buy this from the United States, for instance, then you don't have to pay European VAT. And so the price then may be lower. So those comparisons are always a little bit tricky. Okay, let's go over the pro and cons here. The first thing I want to mention is the design. This is a really, really good looking design. And my favorite here is clearly the blue version of this. And it comes with an interesting heritage, as I've mentioned. And every time I see a diver from France, I have to think about French explorers and divers and filmmakers like Jacques-Yves Cousteau. And I cannot imagine them wearing a Rolex Submariner. And I don't know why. Maybe we have two different schools of design here. Whilst the sub is very pure and uncluttered, divers like the, let's say, the Blancpain 50 Fathoms and this watch here are almost flashy. And they don't look as rock solid as the sub, but that fits the time in a way where people dive with relatively improvised techniques. And so there is a certain form of adventure in this line of design. And the pros are also the contemporary size and the modern components like sapphire, screw down crown and the matching silicone strap, of course. And the company states that this is a unisex watch. And I personally think it's little bit too big for women but that's maybe my rather conservative taste but for a company of course it's a clever statement because it enlarged the group of potential customers and the con is the miyota this is i think the downside here i mean maybe i'm too strict here this is not a bad movement but it's very basic it's not hackable and it's not ultra precise yes you, you can regulate this but unregulate um, a Miyota of that type, which gains every day, let's say, 20 seconds, is seen as normal. And for me, I don't know, this is not super precise. But of course, this is in a way historical accurate. The last thing a diver needed was hackable seconds and a chronometer. But nowadays, better movements are available. But I must say, this in my eyes is really the only, only downside of this watch. So it's an impressive timepiece for such a young company. And last tip here, you may find online the original vintage Le Faubin watches. They are completely off the radar and they go exactly for nothing in auctions. You can pick their cool vintage diver for under 200 bucks with ease, like this one here, sold on Katawiki. Okay, that's all I want to say about that watch. See you next week here to Watch of the Week on Caseback.